I'm in sync with the earth. Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf. I never switch sides, like even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad, not a ties in the hearse. I've been on a vibe kind of hard to describe. I'm in between, I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle with a time of my life. I never so packed for the stack, never lied. Good afternoon, everyone. It's your boy Ryan coming at you from the Juno Pier, a place that I grew up fishing. Today I'm out here, I'm gonna try and do some snook fishing. My man Luke has just been absolutely hammering the sand perch. I'm gonna try and catch some sand perch, keep them in the live well, and then take them out to the end of the pier out there, catch some big snook. We'll see what we can get. So this is what we got going on. We got a three quarter ounce egg, swivel, some 15 pound liter, then a number six long shank cook. I just take some shrimp, I literally peel the shell off of it, and I just break out a little piece about the size of my thumbnail. Hook it on there. Luke's about to smoke another one. He's caught like six baits in the time that it took me to get ready. But this uh, this milky water is good. They eat a little bit better. This time of year, the water is usually pretty clear. So we'll see. Are you getting them underneath? Out. Out a little bit. And they normally inhale it. You'll feel tap, 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 and then shoop, and they suck it in. Yeah, that's why I fish the long shank hook so you can get them unhooked a little bit more easily. Yeah, I'm gonna give you this one. There we go. We caught one. I caught one. This is special. And so these things have really, really sharp freaking gill plates and their spines there and there. I, I hate grabbing them, but they work so good as bait, like you have to use them, you know? Just part of the game. God, you're on again? Dude, you're smoking. Pompanet, unregulated version of a pompano. It's actually a pretty big one compared to the ones that we usually catch here. Looks like a pompano and a permit, but smaller version, long fence. Yeet. We'll put our shrimp literally right here. And the birds have gotten so smart that they'll literally fly in mid-flight and grab your shrimp away. So you gotta stay on top of it or they'll steal it from you. Got them. Nice. Dude, you're catching horses. You want this one too? Nah, you can let that one go. Yeah. Not that it won't get ate, it's just gonna kill the rest of the ones in my freaking bucket. Yeah. Just got a little baby pompano. It's adorable. Could be a little permit too. I think permits are orange right here when they're are babies, they? yeah. Okay. Catching all the species today. Literally everything. And I hooked two. There we go. So. See that? Nice sand perch. Snook candy, man. They don't, they don't last super long, so you try not to cast them hard, but they absolutely get throttled. The thumps that you get on these things will give you nightmares. Catch these guys decently here you feel them picking at your bait this is another version of marhara another uh another species of them they work pretty good in other places but here when you're trying to catch the big snook it's not really the bait you want not saying it won't work just doesn't work nearly as well and it's not worth the uh the live live well space to make So here's what we got going on. We've got a Pen 4 giant reel with 80 pound main line. We've got a three ounce egg sinker, 100 pound swivel, 80 pound fluorocarbon leader, 6 OJ hook, and our perch. And I don't know where the snook are sitting just because the water's kind of dark, which is good. They're gonna eat good. I just gotta find kind of where they're at. But they're gonna like to hang out in and around underneath the pier. So I'm just going to drop this bait here. I'll leave it for a while. I'll probably hold on to it for a bit. Just, you know, maybe they're sitting under there and ready to eat. Likely with the sun this high in the air, the fish are going to be a little bit more spooky. They're not going to eat really good. They'll start to eat really good once the sun starts getting a lot lower. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. 
I'm just nervous. He's dropping straight down. I can pull him in. I usually like that. Yeah, that's good. Especially with fucking. Thanks, Doc. You do the Ryan, right? Uh, yeah. In another life. <laughs> I mean, remember when you were making videos uh, like three years ago? Yeah, back, got, back before I joined the Marine Corps. Yeah. This is about the skinniest summertime fish that I've ever seen. I don't oh, know about yeah. you guys. This thing definitely needs some perch in its life. <laughs> what? I like this display. So That's out. my first snook in probably, I don't know, over a year now. But we'll take it. We'll take one twice the size later, too. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> See him sneak his way out? That was slick. That was slick. Hold the hole. Try and get him on the edge of the net so he can swim out because sometimes they get stuck in it. Slowly let him back down. As soon as he kicks out, so he's sure turned upside down. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. Thanks. Good fish. I mean, it was a dink. I mean, me, yeah. me back so. in the day would have been like, flip that thing. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but the leader gets frayed from their lips. Their lips are kind of like sandpaper. So I almost retie every single fish that I get a bite from. This particular school of snook, they fight a lot different than snook in other places. Um, other places, depending on the tension that you apply to them, they'll swim out, out there. They'll swim, you know, with the current, against the current. Here specifically though, they fight and they go straight for the pilings. They're well trained, they get a lot of pressure and they know. They go straight for the pilings and that's where they hang out. So you have to kind of fish this super, super heavy gear in order to actually get yourself in a position that you're gonna be able to land them. And you know, that it is what it is. It's a different type of fishing. That's just kind of how it goes. Not what you would expect. I love catching them on 4,000s as much as the next guy, but I also like catching them. And if you try and fish light tackle here, you just lose way too many. You know, you might catch one out of 10 and I'm not in for that ratio. I don't like losing that much tackle and I don't leave leaving that many hooks and fish. Come on, take it. Just like that, broke off. Whew. Was on that piling immediately. Three baits left? Three ish? No one else is catching bait right now either, so gotta make them count. Try not to rip his nose. There we go. Other one hit pretty quick. I think they're starting to feed good. Try not to put it as far under. Also, since we're fishing kind of a shallow, shallower part of the pier, I went down to a uh, two ounce. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't know what I got. Coming down. Just free spool, just free spool. I got Just free spool. Don't move. Oh! Did I get a net? Come over here. Come over here with the GoPro. Fix the net. Woo! <laughs> Let me see it. Oh my God. This fish is foul hooked. 
right in the side, so he fought extra hard. Well, they're eating now. Oh my gosh. Thank you, dude. Two and one. Two and one? Alright, well. right, been done before. Mine's in. Hey, does somebody else have something? Drop the net, drop the net. Drop the net more. Got one in the net. Two. Better be a free spool. Yeah, they might break. Oh damn, he got his in like yeah. Finish. So I got mine right, but then they fought extra hard. I know you look. You were like, where are your fish? Rest of the boat, really big, beautiful fish. We're gonna have to cut those lines. Got it? Yeah. Wow. That fish is so long. What do you think for it? Right, grab the rope. Definitely. Oh, yeah, you're going to pull it. Oh, passion's gone. Here you go. That was freaking teamwork. That was dope. The 40 body. Oh my god. God, that net is screwed. Thank you for running to get the other net. The fish wouldn't have been released otherwise. Oh. Thank you. Whoa! Hold hook just like that. What up, bro? What's going on? Good to see you. Good to see you. How you been? Pretty good. Yeah. Good to be back. Yeah, I bet. Reef his ass. You got a shark. You got a shark. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Am I on? A little. I'll be done. Eat. Oh! Oh my God! Coming through. What do I do? Let's get a double up picture. Oh, another oh, shark. I got mine stood up and not worked. That's that. that's honestly insane. I can't believe you did that. That's insane. Hooked that thing underneath and stopped it. Whoa! Eric! Should I flatline? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking flatline. That's one. Okay, I'm right here. This one's out. I didn't see him either. Dude, look at my hook. I'm changing my hook. Net. Oh, oh. That thing was massive. That was God. Oh. That line is straight frayed off. Completely frayed me off. All gone. Coming over here. It's gonna end great. What do you mean? So many rods. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. This is that's what's fun about pier fishing. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that tongue out. I'm gonna get him now. Oh my god, dude, you got a moose. Net! <laughs> you want me to get it or you got it? Okay. I have faith. <laughs> yeah, swing it hard. Swing it hard. 
Good boy, man. Got him. Got one out there as well. Holy shit. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, beautiful. Check the GoPro with him. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Honestly, just a great day to get out and do something that I grew up doing. Had a fun time. Got my ass beat by a couple really big snook. Had a couple fray offs, couple heartbreaks, but also landed those two nice fish. And just all in all, really, really worth the drive, worth the trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, more peer content, more land-based content, drop a comment in the section below. And if you haven't liked the video, like the video. It does do wonders for the channel and it helps the channel and helps me create more content like this for you all. I appreciate you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in that next video. Later.